Adopting old-fashioned habits isn't just about what we wear or the makeup we put on our faces. Hi, welcome back to Humble Homemaking. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I talk about all things homemaking, parenting, faith, and femininity. So if that's your thing, then please hit the subscribe button down below and help my channel grow. Something that we need to talk more about adopting in regards to old fashioned habits are things that are important and things that can be useful to us. I have a list of things that are considered old fashioned habits that all of us should adopt. The first one is an old fashioned phone book. So this little notebook I've showed you before, well on the inside of it, this is a little, this is a metal little notebook tab thing, but on the inside of it has a place for important telephone numbers for family members and friends that I have. I'm not showing you that because that's personal information. Next old fashioned habit that we should all adopt is an old fashioned cookbook. I do find that I go on the internet and Pinterest a lot for recipes and rather than fill up my favorites tab with a bunch of recipes and have to go and search for it. I ordered a cookbook off of Amazon that was blank. So this is, I'm gonna show you the pages that are not filled out, but there's blank pages in here and you can write down the directions and notes for it, the time it took, and then obviously the name of the recipe. So I've got all kinds of recipes in here and I've got, how many do I have? I have 81 already in here. Most of these recipes are compiled from the internet. I also like to go to the library and check out cookbooks. Instead of purchasing them, I just write down the recipes that I want to try in my cookbook. This also has recipes in here from my grandma's cookie recipes. So it's just a nice little thing to have. I will link this down below so that you can get one yourself. My cookbook is called Mom's Favorites because these are all recipes that I've tried or I'm going to try and I know I'll like. The next old fashioned habit is survival guides. You want to have survival guides so that just in case, a survival guide can help you in multiple situations and not just a potential World War III. It could help you with a natural disaster. A survival guide can help you with food preparations, with medical preparations, with what you need to stock up on, what's most important, like certain things that are going to be, that would be necessary in an emergency situation. Because if you are so dependent on the internet and you are so dependent on the government and something were to happen where the government might not be able to help you or you might not be able to use social media, a survival guide, a physical hard copy survival guide can help you. Um, let me go get these magazines real quick. These are my husband's. These are not our only survival guide things that we have. We actually have a survival guide manual from World War II. He actually picks that up from a flea market. But um, this is just like a prepper's emergency survival manual. There's lots of good information in here. How to tie knots, how to get yourself out of certain situations, things like that. Next old fashioned habit is to know how to can things. Now this goes along with prepping for a disaster or something, but it also goes along with just knowing how to prepare your own food and can your own food. So they have canning guides online, but again, this is about the old fashioned way. So, so I encourage you to go on eBay, find a cheap used copy of a canning guide. They have them on there for a few dollars, last time I checked, and get it so that you know how to can things. Canning is definitely not a lost art. There are a lot of people that can. There are a lot of videos on YouTube but actually having a hard copy of a canning guide, how to can, what to can, what not to do with canning, how to use a pressure cooker for canning, how to use a stove top for canning, all those things are can be found in a physical copy canning guide and it's a lot easier to have one physical copy than have to go on 20 different videos on YouTube. Next old fashioned habit to adopt is to learn how to read a map. So. Again, going back to technology, we often depend on our maps on our phones to direct us places, our GPS's in our cars to direct us places, but knowing how to look at a physical map is something that we all should know how to do. I still struggle with this one, but being able to look at a physical map, figure out where you're at, 
and figure out how to get from point A to point B is so important because, again, I'm not trying to fear monger or anything like that, but if something were to happen to wipe out all of our technology or you were just in a place where your phone didn't have reception and there's no gas stations around to ask for directions, you need to learn how to read a physical map. So. Wherever you're at, wherever you're going, pick up a physical map, you know, those big huge things that you see in the old 80s movies where they're opening it up and trying to figure out where to go, one of those. And learning how to read a map and knowing where you are brings me to the next old fashioned habit to adopt, which is to learn a sense of direction. Go your north, south, east, and west, wherever you are standing in your house, wherever you are standing outside, get a compass if you need it, but again, this is something that we depend on with our phones. We have compasses right built right into our phones and if our phones die and we need to know which way is north, which way to walk, which way to which way to go, we need to know where we're at. Men are often better at the sense of direction than women are. We are more of landmark people when it comes to directions where we are like, hey, you turn right on the corner with the red and yellow fire hydrant and then you'll go past and you'll see a blue and green gas station and my house will be the third one on the left with a green roof, you know? So, and that's not the directions to my house, that's just a random example that I pulled out of thin air. But, um, but you definitely wanna learn sense of direction. And this is a challenge, but definitely challenge you to figure it out because next time your husband says, which way are we driving or which way is it? You can say Southeast. The next old fashioned habit to adopt is board games. Start playing more board games. We play lots of phone games and lots of computer games and, and lots of games that require electricity. When we lose power, we're bored. We don't know what to do, so Playing board games, not just when the power goes out, helps it so that it's a normal thing if and when the power goes out. So we have a little collection of board games in our closet and we have brand new games like uh, What Do You Meme? That's actually a really fun little game that we played last time our power went out. The next old fashioned habit to adopt is, is to come up with activities for your children that do not require batteries or electricity because same thing if the power goes out and your child is just so used to just going on the iPad all the time or so used to watching her show or his show on Netflix all the time well you're going to be screwed trying to entertain them if the power goes out so make it a habit to have games and things for your children to do that are more hands-on, that are more old-fashioned, maybe like the, the little ball on the ping pong paddle thing. That's a fun little old-fashioned thing that can keep kids busy. Even an abacus. That's something that keeps kids busy because it's beads and it's counting and it's all kinds of little learning things. Also, board games for kids is another good one. Do you have any other old-fashioned habits that you believe we should adopt that are not style or fashion related. If you do, let me know. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe, and of course, share this video so that this channel can grow. I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.